Hello, and welcome to this short video about ATAC-Seq. My name is Joanna, and I'm a research and development scientist here at Zymo Research. Today, I'll be guiding you guys through what ATAC-Seq is and how Zymo can help you on your research goals. So what is ATAC-Seq? ATAC-Seq stands for Assay for Transposase Accessible Chromatin Using Sequencing. So what does this mean? It means that it's an assay that allows for a transposase to access open chromatin, and then we sequence the product of that. Let's now look to a schematics of what happens during ATAC-Seq. In this schematics, the green and yellow cylinders are nucleosomes. The nucleosomes have DNA wrapped around them and in between them. The blue circles with the color DNA strings represent the transposase. The transposase attaches to DNA in regions of open chromatin, cutting the DNA and leaving behind the color DNA strings. The longer the open chromatin region, the more transposases will attach and cut the DNA. Because we know the sequence of those DNA strings that the transposase leaves behind, we can then easily make ready-to-sequence libraries from the tagmented DNA. Therefore, ATAC-Seq is a simple method to detect open chromatin. DNA-Seq is another method able to detect open chromatin. However, ATAC-Seq requires less material and less time when compared to DNA-Seq. Typically, the end goal for researchers that perform ATAC-Seq is actually to determine whether there are changes in chromatin accessibility between control and treatment group or at different time points during a treatment. However, in most cells, the mitochondrial DNA abundance is much higher than the nuclear DNA abundance. Also, because all mitochondrial DNA is open and not wrapped in nucleosomes, the transposase has an easier access to the mitochondrial DNA, therefore it cuts it more efficiently, which then results in libraries rich in mitochondrial DNA fragments. In fact, the number of mitochondrial reads after sequencing may be as high as 34% or even higher. In this plot, we see that the number of mitochondrial reads on a sequenced library is 34% of the total reads sequenced. During the bioinformatic analysis, those mitochondrial reads must be discarded since they do not align to any nuclear chromosome and therefore they cannot provide any information regarding chromatin accessibility, which is the actual goal of ATAC-Seq. What this means is that this results in a large number of sequencing reads that are discarded, which in turn means wasted resources. However, using the innovative chemistry of Zymo research, we can lower the number of mitochondrial contamination to less than 5% for both fresh samples and cryopreserved samples. Regarding the reproducibility of the assay, ZymoSeq attack shows high correlation between replicates. To determine correlation, we can look at the reads between replicate A and B. In this comparison, we looked at all the reads that came out of the sequencer after removing duplicates, low mapping quality reads, and also mitochondrial reads. To make these plots, we ran deep tools and chose to see the results in a scatter plot that shows the Pearson correlation between replicate A and B for reads set in 100 base pair bins. For both fresh and cryopreserved samples, we obtained high correlation between replicates, which is about, uh, above 0.98. A different way to determine correlation between replicates is to look at the peaks present in both replicates. Replicates that originated in the same cell suspension should have the same peaks, that is, the same areas of open chromatin. To perform this analysis, we took two lists. One list with the genomic coordinates for peaks called for replicate A, and a second list with the genomic coordinates for the peaks called for the replicate B. And then we compared both lists. We then counted how many of the genomic coordinates are present in both lists. To do so, we used BET tools intersect 
and counted over 92,000 peaks common between replicates. Then we decided to look at how the data generated with the ZymoSeq attack compares with DNA-seq data. DNA-seq and code data is available online and represents well-established regions of open chromatin. We first uploaded BigWig files from ZymoSeq attack and encode DNA-seq data on the IGV website so that we could compare peaks, and then we chose a randomly selected region of the human genome and looked at the peaks. In the top lane, with green peaks, we can see the data obtained in-house with the ZymoSeq attack. And then in the bottom, in the yellow peaks, we can see the ENCODE DNA-seq data. As we can see in this figure, there is a, completely, a complete agreement in the peaks shown for both assays, which further validates the results obtained using ATAC-seq. In summary, ZymoSeq attack provides low mitochondrial contamination, high correlation between replicates, and excellent quality libraries. Additionally, ZymoSeq attack is only one of the products in the complete platform of epigenetic related products available at Zymo Research. It's not by chance that we are called the epigenetics company. Our epigenetics team is here to listen and help you with your research needs. So if you have any questions about ATAC-seq or any other epigenetic assay, please do not hesitate to contact us through the email address info at zymoresearch.com. Thank you for watching. Also, if you like this video, subscribe to the Zymo Research channel and get more exclusive content.